Hello friends, welcome. It's Mark here with another Scotch tasting. This is going to be another short video because uh, I'm going through the lineup here of the Glen Fodre. And today we have the Glen Fodre. This is the double maturation American oak cast finish. This is a no age statement. And this is also 47.1% ABV. Uh, go ahead and open it up now and pour it so it has time to air out. Um, so again talked about this before Glen Fodre is a total wine brand uh, they're bottled for total wines uh, which is new to Texas they've been here a couple years after having bought out goody goody uh, but um which did some really shady crap to specs but you know, that's another thing so um okay so anyway what we do know about the Glen Fodre is that it is bottled by William Grant and Sons, and they make Glenfiddich, the Balvenie, Ellis Bay, Convini, and I think they have an Irish whiskey they make, and I don't know what that is, and I think they have a grain distillery also. But they are saying that this is a Speyside, so for it to be a Speyside, it's going to have to be Glenfiddich, Balvenie, or Convini, uh, which are the three from William and Grant. It's probably done by Glenfiddich. Um, so that's probably where this comes from. Um, let's see. It's a, what else can I say? Okay. Um, there is, it is non-chill filtered and this one is double matured in American oak and, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then another second cask in bourbon casks. So, okay, so let me go ahead and let you look at it in the bottle and again, I don't know if there's color added or not, but there you go. You can see it in the glass. Let me spin it around so we get any legs on there. I like to spin it twice because I guess when they're dry. All right, I don't know if you can see the legs. It's got definitely got some legs, so. I'll have to go back and look one day and see if you can actually see that. So, okay, so what do we have on the bottle here? Uh, this is the the, the Dublach. Uh, in Scotch, Dalek Dublach means doubled. We choose this ancient name to reflect the double maturation of this fine whiskey in American white oak and first fill American bourbon casks, so okay. Don't know for how long, because it's no age statement. Um, anyway, we do know it's 47%, 47.1% ABV. The first cask is Glen Fodre American Oak cask finish has been matured in traditional American white oak cask until it has achieved a perfect balance of flavors. The second cask, our malt master has approved the quality of the first maturation and the whiskey and is then transferred into first fill American bourbon casks. Glen Fodre American Oak cask finish has been matured in traditional American until it is well, it's, it's, it's the same thing on the front. All right. Let's see if we got anything on the um, on the tube. Nope, that's the same thing. Other than, same thing, you know, whiskey's transferred to first fill American bourbon cast to allow the second maturation, bottled at a higher strength without chill filtration. Our malt master has ensured that you enjoy the full range of aromas and full depth of flavors in this exceptional single malt whiskey has to offer. Uh, it says it has vanilla oakiness, delicate floral character, a balance of sweet oak and crisp fruit, vanilla sweetness increased with addition of water. So, all right. So, again, very inexpensive. This was like a, another, again, probably less than $40 bottle. Um, so, that's what makes me think it's Glenfiddich because the price, I don't, I can't imagine that Balvenie is going to have something that inexpensive. Uh, I don't know a lot about Convini, uh, so I really can't say, but I imagine that's why I'm thinking it's probably Glenfiddich in here. So, all right, let's see what we got. A lot of fruit. Pears. <sighs> hmm. A 
there's definitely some there's a sweetness to it uh, more of a floral sweetness than like a sugar sweetness man it almost smells like Glen Levitt I'm definitely fruity, mostly apples and pears, which is probably why it makes me think of Glenfiddich, Glenlivet. There is some definitely some sweetness in there. Um, like, it's not a kind of a sweetness is that more of a a sugary sweetness, not really so much the, the like a honey or toffee or something, but yeah. All right. Pears, apricots. I don't get any apple. I'm not getting apple. Um, it is very crisp on the finish. I would say mm, short to medium. Um, there is some definitely some oaky bitterness in there. Getting getting that oak, so I'm assuming it must be in that like maybe. The, the first maturation is having a bigger influence than the bourbon, first fill bourbon. But um, I really expected to get more vanilla in this being from the bourbon cast, but I'm not getting that. Okay. Yeah. Very thin, bitter. All right, so um, this is gonna get a five in my book. Don't think I would buy it again, even at that price. Might as well just buy the 12 year old. Um, so, all right, we'll see you next time.